Hello everybody and welcome to my Blood Bowl 3 Imperial Nobles Guide. So, uh, first of all, I guess this is the team, right? This is uh, this is the only starting team I would go with, I think. Uh, you've got two rerolls, only one blitzer. Um, well, I guess let's let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the players. So there is an ogre. Um, he's 140 TV. He's pretty much the same as he was in the earlier editions of Blood Bowl. And yeah, he, what has he got going for him? <laughs> well, he's strength five and he's got mighty blow. Um, he is slightly worse. But he doesn't get break tackle anymore. Well, it's it's not as effective anymore. But they do get uh, they do get brawler as a cheaper option than block in both SPPs and in TV. Um, so I guess the same thing that I would normally do is I would just start with a guard guard on this guy and then block if you want it if you want to save up for block save up for block um, otherwise the key skills are stand firm and brawler um, but yeah just just guard and done is, is fine I think for an ogre and, uh, and again you know all of this depends on how you redraft and stuff maybe I should just do a, a guide you know on how what to do in different redraft situations but it's all going to be situational basically now you know sometimes you'll take random skills if it's a big match or you know in the playoffs for example in your league if you're if you're in the semi-final it looks to be a tough match if you've got some SPPs you know saving for a double then maybe put them into two 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 random skills could give you a big payoff so so it's going to be very interesting how that works so it's going to be more key skills to get and the key skills to get definitely guard first um stand firm brawler block maybe dodge but i just don't think that's worth it probably tv be more important with really good stars now in the new edition okay now they've got four bodyguards and these are interesting players they can't pass to save their lives <laughs> uh, they're essentially a human lineman with wrestle and stand firm for 90k which is okay i think i'd probably they rather they just started with wrestle so i had more money for my starting build um the, the starting build is very tight um stand firm's great though right it's it's a good skill once you get guard you'll be very happy to have stand firm and these guys just need guard and they're finished and um, so that's a great thing about them right they only need guard and then they're done and then you can just pick whatever you want you know maybe he's maybe he's take a mighty blow after that uh, maybe go random general skills would be okay on these guys because they, they don't hate getting block kick all of those kind of things frenzy you know that none of the skills they can get are that bad but the important thing is that they get to guard really quickly you've got to take guard on them <laughs> and then after that because you've already got the stand firm you're laughing really and, and you've obviously got wrestle to punch people so yeah but it's really good how quick it is to finish them off maybe just save for stats right try and get strength four on them very expensive tv but you know every little helps especially depending on how your redraft's working so yeah kind of good players now you may have noticed that this team is like a pale imitation of Bretonians from Blood Bowl 2 and here is now the horrible horrible blitzer he's 105k and he's lost Dauntless and also they're only 0 to 2 instead of 0 to 4 they've also lost passing access from primary so they no longer get a leader to help you um, they're pretty terrible they're, they really are pretty terrible now um, like both the team, the te Imperial Nobles are a terrible, terrible team. I probably should have said that earlier. <laughs> They're a terrible team. Um, <laughs> and what what can you take for these guys? Dodge. Okay. Save for guard, I guess. Or like take tackle. I, I don't know. It's just horrible. It's horrible that they're, they're, they're terrible. They're, they're over costed and bad. It's just. They're rotten. Rotten, rotten players, Noble Blitzers. And a rotten team. And if you think that Blitzers are bad, check out the throwers. They're 75k. And instead of sure hands, they've got Running Pass. Running Pass is basically the most useless skill in the game. <laughs> if you're making a quick pass. And the reason you're making a quick pass is 
you can't make a handoff. So the reason, you know, like you're out of range of a handoff. So you're making a quick pass because by expending all of your movement, you're still two squares away from somebody and can't hand off. So you're not going to have movement left after you've done the pass. So stupid. It's such a terrible, terrible, terrible skill and a terrible, terrible, terrible player. But he gets passing skills on primaries so he can get leader. And he probably wants to get leader instantly and then block. Um, he's got general in passing. And then once he's got block and leader, then he's pretty much done. And you can, you know, you can make up your mind between um, saving for guard or stats or rolling random generals. So many, so many development options after that. But the important thing is leader ASAP and then block. And also he's not a, he's not a peasant. Of course, the peasants aren't peasants either, because then now they're imperial retain alignment. But it's a peasant. Um, they are 45k instead of 40k, so they got nerfed a little bit with a with a price hike. Um, they're still essentially armor seven right now. It's armor eight plus. Um, basically, agility two. It's agility four plus. Um, they can take block, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I guess t players like this where they don't get a lot after block, just save up for guard and then maybe spend it on randoms if if it's a big game or something. Um, but yeah, they're terrible. These these guys are absolutely terrible. And I feel like I've said terrible a hell of a lot with this team, but this team does get the ogre um, in addition to what Bretonians had. And yeah, this I think this has got to be the starting team. It gets you the two rerolls. It gets you as few uh, retain alignment as possible. You can't see the positions in this beta, unfortunately. You've got a mouse over them to see their positions. But, I mean, you should be able to work out by the stat line and everything what they are. Um, yeah, so the, the Ogres are okay. They've got a bit of strength, but obviously losing losing four blitzers into two and them being rubbish is, is just horrible. The, these throws are terrible. Um... Yeah, the whole team is, is trash, and I'd recommend you not play this unless you were looking for a challenge, um, or because, you know, you like the feathers or whatever, but it's it's going to be a rough ride. They're, they're, I think they're a very, very, very poor team. Um, not even TV efficient, really, I guess. I guess if you just take guard on the linemen, uh, well, not the linemen, the, the bodyguards, if you just take four guards on this team, like, that's probably the best value you can possibly have. It still looks rubbish. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, not one to watch, but there you go. You know, somebody might try it um, somewhere. And if you do, well, you have my condolences and good luck on that bombshell. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.